Hello and welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans handover video for the Luna Venus Deluxe 2019. As I always do with these videos, I'll just take you around the outside slowly, then I'll talk around from the back just to uh, give all the gin. Obviously we've got first we see two grab handles and all the light clusters, so we've got indicators, running lights, brake lights, also have a high line brake light area for your number plate, reverse lights, and the very popular corner settings. Okay, going around to the offside, obviously you can see lots of windows, slightly tinted windows uh, into the van. Lots of natural light to come in, but first we get to the most important bit of the caravan, the toilet. I've unlocked all of the cabinets that I can do so far, just for ease on the video. But here's where the uh, pink fluid goes in. Uh, as I always say, check the particular uh, chemical that you're using. Check to see the correct dilution levels as required. And in here, we have the cassette. Now, this cassette, uh, you remove this. There's a, a, an indicator within the toilet area to say when it needs emptying. But to do so, you need to lift this uh, blue lever there and then pull towards you. And that way, the cassette will just come straight out. It is on wheels. I'm going to carry it around to the waste point. But to empty, bring the funnel out, undo the cap, put the cap somewhere safe so that it's not going to fall into the, uh, into the chemical way or to the... Uh, waste area lift forward and then press on this blue button up here to release any air pockets or any air air pressure just to help everything come out you'll be wanting to rinse afterwards so slide that back open up and that will open up here is where you take a poo. rinse everything out then close that back up again slide that back in and uh, ready to rock and roll. Now, you also would have to put the blue fluid in. Now, on these uh, caps, oh, on these caps, that they, they are lively. There's various measures there, depending on which fluid you're using. Fill the cap, put it back on. Back on and we all go. And then just slide back into place clips in and you're all ready to go. Remember to close up that flap though, otherwise you'll have problems uh, a bit later on, but I'll explain that when we get into the in, on the inside. Right, okay, all we've set up here, waste pipe area. So the uh, gray waste removal area, that's, so that's for the two sinks, uh, kitchen and bathroom, and for the shower. But we'll supply you with a grey pipe. We'll add their grey pipe for that. Uh, external locker goes under one of the single beds. Nice size. Good, good bit of storage area. And you can get to those from the inside of the caravan as well. Okay. Uh, alloy wheels. Uh, the wheel nuts are torqued up to 130 Newton metres. Uh, tires have to be less than seven years old. It's only a two-year-old van, so they're not going to be very old on this. And you can also see here, this one particular model has the PowerTouch Classic motor mover. Uh, there's a separate video to show you how to use motor movers. Moving on a bit further, come to the battery box. Uh, you need the key for this one. So, battery box. 110 amp per battery, uh, mainly because it's got a motor mover. There's your electric hookup. Behind there, you can see uh, that's, this is where the isolator key for the motor mover goes in. It's placed behind there, so it's very difficult to connect the motor mover whilst uh, the electric hookup's in, and that's a good safety feature. All right, next, water pump. It's the Truma Ultra Flow water pump, uh, which I have one here prepared earlier. 
this goes into the pump, conveniently saying pump, and it pushes in. This then goes into your water pump, into your water roll, I should say. Covered up with that, so no detritus can get into the uh, into your water supply. 40 litres generally, the aqua rolls. And then you would all be ready to uh, rock and roll. The other side of that, that's the Truma vent. If you're running the heating, the Truma heating on gas, that vent uh, is the exhaust, uh, exhaust area. Going around to the front, large single window, uh, gas locker, obviously two more grab handles. Running on the Alco chassis. Uh, this particular one has a nice little touch. Uh, when you've got the awning light, there's a light that shines into your gas locker. So changing gas at night won't be a problem. Inside the locker itself, room for two gas bottles. Plenty room, nice size area. There's the uh, Chris number, which is the registration number of the vehicle. Then you've got a uh, brace, this will uh, for the motor mover, leg winder. You will also have in here your water pump and your electric cable. Okay, this side, onto the near side. External gas barbecue point. I hope I don't need to mention it, but I would do every time. Do not have a gas barbecue inside an awning, uh, as obviously fabric and flame are not great bedfellows. We have another small locker point, but this is the bonus of a 230 volt socket. There is a cutout on here, so you can run an electric line into your awning. Yeah, then we've got vents for the fridge and freezer and another external locker that goes directly under the bed and that pretty much is the uh, obviously the awning light that's the external it's got our, this uh, Venus Deluxe Thank you, Jeffrey. Right, next we should go inside okay Inside the, uh, the Venus, straight in front of you, you can see the kitchen area. As you step inside, it's a quick scoot around. Obviously, lounge area, a nice light and airy, lots of cupboard space, kitchen, microwave, and cooker, etc. Single beds, solve that my reflection. You don't want to scare children. Nice little drop here, and the fridge. Going into the bathroom, trying to avoid the big mirror that's in front of me. Obviously, loo, very useful. Sink, mixer, and a nice large shower area. And let's go and talk you through. Yeah, uh, the control panel. Which, as you can see, is uh, above the door. So this control panel, power switch, to switch on and off. I've got the awning light on at the moment, I'll just turn that off. If I turn the power off, strange enough, I've got no power going into it at the moment. So power on, and then you have, as I showed you before, awning light. This is for the internal lights. So oh, there are some individual light switches as well, which we'll go through. Uh, when turning the water pump on, that's for the water pump. I've got no water in there at the moment, so I'm not doing that just yet, uh, if I do at all. Then you have leisure battery. So if you press on that, that will show you how much power you've got in the leisure battery. Now that's showing good power, but we are plugged into the electric, so I'm not surprised at that at all. And then to the vehicle battery, however, we're not plugged into a vehicle at the moment, so nothing to worry about there. The heating system is the Truma heating system. Okay, so now we come to the Truma uh, hot water and heating system. Uh, 
the displays are activated by twisting this uh, button or pressing down on the button to start up everything. And this is the go back button in effect. So to switch on, press the button. As you can see, the first thing that flashes up, we've got a flashing um, motorhome in this case, but this is for the caravan. This is just to set the temperature with inside the caravan. Currently set at 20. Press it again, sorry, it's just 20, and you can then turn it either way to switch up or down whatever temperature you desire within the, the uh, caravan. Um, this sign at the top does not mean that uh, it's on gas, uh, it just means that the heating is now on. Let's go back. Press, and then you can turn. This will then give you the hot water. So press it, it's currently off. You can turn it to eco or high or boost, but we've got no water connected at the moment. Uh, but eco will give you enough hot water for uh, washing up, uh, having a wash in the morning. Uh, then I would go for hot to have the shower. And if there's more than you know a couple you're gonna be having showers, I would then check, go on to the boost. All right, so to get back in, press the button down. So there we are, that's the water heating. Here, it shows gas and electric. What are we going to use at the moment? We're carrying it on electric two, so two kilowatts of power for electric. You have the option of one kilowatt. Uh, that will heat things up, but very slowly. You have a mix of uh, gas and electric, one and two, or just gas. Uh, if you're on an electric site, I would always suggest using the electric two, which is more than enough you know, to give you all the power you need in the heating and the hot water. Turn the, the dial again and you get to the fan, click on it. So you've got the speed that the fan will go at. You've got eco and high, they're your only options. If you want to you know, heat everything up rather quickly, go on to high. If not, just go on to eco, it's fine entirely in however you want it. Then press to select again. Twist again and you've got a timer. Uh, should you use the timer? Set the clock or you've got various uh, indices in there. Uh, you can set the temperature, whether you want centigrade or Fahrenheit. Brightness of the screen. Whether you want a 12 hour or 24 hour clock, you can change the language and the index reset, etc. Uh, we do give you a manual. So that will all be, uh, explained in there obviously if you do get confused or if it's, you can't find what you're looking for in a manual you can give us a call on uh 01373 752 100 whilst we were talking about the water system and the water heating just something to show you underneath the right hand side seat and here there's the water heater itself uh, under there you can see a yellow tap uh, currently in the vertical position that means that any water that was in the water heater will have drained straight onto the floor and if you're winterizing or when you're about to travel it's very important drain all the water out lift that tap to the vertical position and open your taps however when you arrive on site pop that down that will allow the water to come in from your rack or roll uh, on to, you know into the caravan as required. Got various filters in there. Here, for the electrical system, you've got your fuse box and uh, your breaker switches. Also separate switches for the, for the heater and your 12 volt DC shutdown. Uh, hopefully you won't need to, to use this too much, but that's where everything is. Again, it's all in the information is in the um, user manual okay so back to the interior of the van lots of individual lights individual switches on them as you can see here there's a couple in the front here a couple at the back over the bed so there's nice little reading lights all of the windows have the standard uh, fitment opening uh, handles and then just when the windows open just tighten them up tighten up the stanchions with those 
just to keep everything open. We've got fly screens and blackout blinds on each of the windows. Uh, just hold on to them when you're lifting them up, otherwise they do have a tendency to fly up. A couple of light switches I found uh, <laughs> when I couldn't find them um, for internal lights. So those lights as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And cupboard space, a plenty. This cupboard over overhead has got the, where the radio would go. Like I say, cupboard space all over the place. Come to the kitchen area. That's a quite a nice size there. Uh, little workspace there. We've got uh, light switches for under the, um, uh, well, above the kitchen, above the cooker. Two, two 30 volt sockets, also oh, toaster, uh, kettle, coffee maker, whatever. You've also got the very handy uh, two USB um, charging points there as well. The sink itself, nice round sink. It's got a cover over it. There's your water pump, I'll put it in there now. Uh, nice size sink. This one's got a water pump in it already, happy days. Dual mixer. Um, when the water temperature is on eco, it's not too bad. But when you do change it to hot, that water does get very hot. Be careful uh, about burning. Very serious point to make there. Underneath, uh, more storage space. You've also got your freestanding table. <clears throat> in here, more cupboard space and a cutlery drawer. Really nicely laid out. Then, I'll get out of the way. I don't really, probably don't want to see my reflection. Then you've got the... Um, Microwave, 800 watt microwave. Um, very, I'm not going to teach you how to use a microwave, it is what it is. And then you've got the Thetford cooker. Now this one, uh, glass top that needs to be lifted up so you can light the uh, gas burners. Also has an electric hob. Um, needless to say, don't put the glass panel down when anything's hot. Um, full sized grill and oven. Just usual standard gas oven um, controls. Underneath there, there's some isolator switches for, for gas for the cooker, the fridge, and the hot water and heater. If you're running on gas, if you wanted to turn it off. However, if you're using propane, you can just turn it off at the bottle. And then you've also got the isolation switch for the electric hob there. Very quick handy hint, if you do turn the gas off at the mains, well, at the um, at the bottle, uh, it's always worth lighting up a burner and to go clear any gas there. It might light for a second or so, and that will just clear any gas away. Okay, on the other side, got the fridge. Dometic fridge, um, nice and straightforward to use. Controls, that's off. That's running on electric. That's running on the car alternator or on gas. If you put it on the gas, that's where you need to uh, do the ignition. However, the uh, when you're hooked up to a site, that would be my suggestion of where to go. Um, the battery, so showing on the alternator, if, as long as the, the fridge is already cold, you can put some food in here or drink and keep it cold, you can maintain the temperature of the fridge on your journey. It will not cool it down from the start, it's only to maintain the temperature. So as long as the fridge is already cold, and you've got the 13 pin plug on your uh, tow bar, put it onto there, then you will continue to have, uh, it will continue, well, maintain the temperature. And talking of temperature, there's the temperature uh, dial on the fridge, so to change it to whatever temperature you like inside itself got a nice sized little fridge got yourself um, an ice box for your if you do like ice we'll put some ice cream in it uh, oh nice right then bedroom area again lots of cupboard space uh, nicely laid out simple but very effective 
seat. There's your individual light switches. You've got a little shelf to put a cup of tea on. <clears throat> You've also got uh, an extra, another point for a TV antenna. Now, if you wanted to watch TV in bed, what I didn't show you was in the big cupboard, was where the TV antenna is and the booster. So this unscrews, you lift up the shaft, um, point it in the direction that everyone else seems to be pointing theirs in, uh, and then retune your television. And all, uh, all happy days. Um, okay, going into the bathroom. Bit of a scary sight, mirror, me in it. The toilet. Uh, that for toilet, as I showed you earlier on, there is the display. If it's full, that'll go red to flush the system. Literally lift and pump. It's a nice little pump action. And when you need to empty anything, slide this across, but make sure you slide it back because if you don't slide it back, it might be a case of you will not be able to take that cassette out when it's full, or you might try to pull it out and damage it. Cupboard under the sink. Nice size sink, mix the tap again. The obligatory loo roll holder. Nice sized, very nice sized uh, shower. This is a clip at the top. The screen comes in, very nice. But make sure that you clip up that there, particularly when you're traveling. Um, drawstring light. Sounds like a bathroom should. Uh, there's plenty of storage under the beds, which you can get to from inside or outside. Again, 230 volt socket down there. There is a screen to shut off the world. If you want some privacy in the bedroom. All in all, a fabulous little caravan. Nice and lightweight, very good. Whilst I'm here, in the corner, right hand corner, there's another socket and TV antenna point. If you want the TV at the front, this comes out. A nice little side table where you can uh, have a cup of tea or something else, whatever you desire. Lots of drawer space. All good. And if you need to make this into a double bed at the front, these slide out either side with the base and then just rearrange the cushions as you desire. If you want to lock, it, lock the door inside, just click that up to the, to the red, you're locked. These, uh, the doors do have a fly screen and quite a large bin. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that pretty much concludes the uh, the handover for the Venus Deluxe 550. Cracking little van. Uh, I like, really hope you enjoy it. Oh, I did forget something, I do apologize. This roof light, the uh, skylight. Okay, they can be a little bit uh, tricky, shall we say. So. See, because you can push them up and down and nothing happens. You think, oh, what's going on? So you need to be a bit gentle until you hear a click. And they'll stay. Lift them down. So lift until you hear a click. And it'll stay. Then do it again. It'll do it again. Um, but I, we've, not so much now, but we used to get the fair few calls saying, my sunroof didn't work. It won't stay up. You just have to be a little bit patient with them. And again, blackout blinds, fly screens all there. So enjoy your caravan. Any questions, do give us a call. 01373 752 100. Um, yeah, enjoy your caravan.